How's it going everybody? G Murph here. I'm going to talk about the 3.5.0 mid chapter patch notes. By the time you see this video, the new tome should be out. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that as much. This is just going to be about the doctor, the new Larry's changes, and the change for Ruin. If you want to read the whole patch notes, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not going to go over everything because I want to keep this video kind of short. With the old doctor, you used to have to switch between treatment mode and shock therapy mode. Uh, treatment mode was just basically the attack mode. You used uh, M1. And shock therapy was just the shock ability. You don't have to do this anymore. Uh, they're both in one mode, which saves time between shocking and hitting people, which is nice. There's a new mechanic for the doctor called static blast. Static Blast takes 2 seconds to activate and has a 60 second cooldown. The Doctor's Static Blast will cause all survivors within his terror radius to gain 50 madness points. The Doctor will laugh if Static Blast affects any survivor. Affected survivors will scream. They give away their location if their madness level increases. Survivors outside the terror radius will hear a direction neutral audio cue when the ability is being charged and when it fires. Survivors inside the terror radius will hear a direction revealing audio cue for the charge and the fire of the ability. And there's also a scoring event for hitting survivors. There's also been some snap out of it adjustments for survivors. Missing a skill check will regress the progression bar by one fourth instead of all the way. Skill checks will tr be triggered every quadrant of the progress bar. Releasing the snap out of it action will keep the progress made instead of resetting. Snapping out of it sends survivors back to Madness level 1 instead of level 2. As a survivor, the Madness regresses outside the terror radius but does not regress while inside of it. There has also been some changes to the Doctor chase music. He has his own specific chase music now. I'm not going to go over all the changes to his add-ons because pretty much every add-on has been changed and it's a long list and I want to keep this video short. The Larry's Treatment Theater map has been completely reworked visually and the layout itself. The map is much darker and the layout itself is more rectangular than square. The distribution of pallets and hooks is more balanced than it was before. This also goes for vaulting locations. Uh, specifically the doctor's office, uh, there's no more desk and window set up, usually you just have one of the other spawns. I'm going to go over the hex ruin changes real quick. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to plan on keeping these changes, it seems like a lot of people really don't like it. Hex ruin. All regenerators are affected by hex ruin. If a generator is not being worked on, it regresses at 100, 150, and 200% the normal regression rate. The hex persists as long as the related hex totem is standing. If you're not sure what this means, it means there's no more skill checks involved with hex ruin. Like with old hex ruin, you would have to get a great skill check. If you didn't get a great skill check, it would regress the generator further than it normally would. With the new hex ruin, you don't have to worry about hitting the great skill checks, you just do the generator as normal. But as soon as you let go of the generator, it regresses, and the speed it regresses depends on what level the perk is for the killer. Like I said, I was just going to cover the major updates for the new patch. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the full patch notes if you want to read everything. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want me to make a video about the upcoming tome and archive, uh, just tell me in the comments. See you next time.